Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to discuss with you guys another smart home product that um, I'm really excited about and I've already installed. Now, I reached out to a company called iWall Dock, and they were nice enough to send me a sample of one of their iPad mini wall mounts. And you know, in today's day and age, with all the different electronics that are constantly changing, you know, we get one tablet, one cell phone, next thing you know, in a couple years we're getting another one that's updated with more space and more speed, and it just never ends, right? So we have all these devices laying around, and for a while now, being that I'm really into the home, whole smart home stuff, and if you guys uh, haven't seen my other videos, check out my playlist, Smart Home Series. Um, I've been outfitting my house from everything with smart lights, to smart plugs, to camera systems, to environment monitors, which should be coming here uh, in the not too distant future. And so I really like the control to be able to monitor your house and do things on either an automatic level or uh, just on a convenience level. And so naturally I have the Amazon girl, we're not gonna say who that is, and of course the Google Home and all those different devices that allow you to interact with your devices um, with your voice. And it's really great to be able to um, you know, with a lot of these devices, if you get it like some of the smart bulbs, you lose the ability to have the outlet. And so it's really nice to be able to um, turn on the lights without having to reach for my smartphone all the time. Just do it with my voice as I'm walking, and it works really well. And so, with that being said, I wanted to basically take advantage of some of the old devices I have. And I have an iPad that most of the time, you know, I film my videos with, and I'm filming it now with a different cell phone that I have now, so hopefully the resolution's better. And so I had this iPad that basically sits on my desk, and I said that would be really great to wall mount that. Um, originally, I wanted to wall mount my Samsung tablet because that one I absolutely don't use at all. Uh, it's such a poor device that I don't know if I just got a bad one, but ever since the day I got it, uh, and it's the dual core version, it's several years old, but ever since the day I got it, it just never really worked fast. It's always bloated down with the software that they put on there. So I had with the intent on wall mounting that one, uh, wiping that clean, flashing the firmware with something that was a little lighter than the stuff that Samsung puts on it. Long story short, uh, never found the dock for that one. I really want to spend the money, and it's an older device. So you know, one thing about the iPads and the iPod or the iPads, uh, whether it be the, the the mini or the larger one, the size basically always stays the same. They always kind of keep it very, very, um, uh, very, very similar on each model. They don't really change it too much. So nice thing about having an iWall dock like this. The one that I have is compatible with the iPad Mini one, two, and three. So it's fantastic that if later on down the road I get a different iPad, it's still going to work. And so what I want to do is I had told the manufacturer of this that I was going to do an unboxing video and an install video. And unfortunately, when I did that video, it was 40 minutes long. I went to upload it to YouTube, and somehow uh, the video got corrupted, and I had to delete it. So here I am. It's already installed. And I was going to tell you what I did. And uh, I don't. we'll see how I feel <laughs> throughout this video because I really don't want to pull it out of the wall. But I might just do that to show you kind of what I did, okay? So naturally the hole's already cut and I'm going to discuss with you a couple tools that you're going to need for this. Before we do that though, I'm just going to show you the box. Uh, you guys know I never really get too excited about the box, but here it is, the iWall dock. Uh, again, this was done for the iPad mini, one, two, and three. They make two different versions, one that just basically keeps your device in the wall and it's more of something that's going to be left in the wall and not really moved. I opted for the one that actually charges it and allows you to remove the device very, very easily, okay? And so it basically comes with a couple things. You get the, naturally, the wall mount. Um, and this is available in several different colors. And I'm not going to be able to show you the colors because on camera you really don't see them all that well. But I will put a link in the description uh, as far as uh, the, the ones that are available where you can see nice pictures online. Now, I did opt to go originally with the mahogany version of this because I figured it would match the fireplace. But the manufacturer said, you know, it's not one of our big sellers. We sell a lot more of the black and gloss white. And so, and they have a stainless steel also is going to go with because I have stainless steel appliances. However, on this particular wall here, um, I opted to just go with the gloss black. And the reason behind that, and I want to show you real quick, is the fact that my, the iPad that I have is the gloss black version. And so I wanted the iPad to basically just melt right into the, uh, into the, um, the trim ring on this. And so naturally, if this was a white one, you'd have white here, or you'd have your carbon fiber they make, your aluminum, your brush stainless. Uh, they make a, a gloss gray. And of course the mahogany, and I thought the mahogany was pretty nice, but I'm glad that when I uh, I went with the gloss black because it really looks very nice and it melts right in with that iPad. Uh, the other thing is once I got the sample of the mahogany, I have to tell you the picture online 
uh, is a little bit different than what the actual sample looks like. They've made it look more glossier online, and the actual sample's not. Not to say it looks bad or anything like that, but I'm just glad I, went, I took the manufacturer's recommendation and uh, went with the gloss black. And I just want to say thank you, iWalldoc. It's really, really generous of you guys to send me this and share with my subscribers. Um, as you can see, I have a smart thermostat by Honeywell right next to that, which is just a fantastic deal. Check out my video on that. I got it for $126, and then you get a $75 uh, manufacturer uh, uh, power company rebate, depending on where you live. Um, so without further ado, um, let's just show you what, what the items you're going to need to actually install this. It's very, very easy to install. And one thing I really like about this particular device, and they don't mention it on the site, is that it's shallow enough where you can install this directly over the stud, which is kind of a concern because had, had this device not been able to do that, I would have had to offset it and not have it centered on the wall. So this device you can put within sheetrock, in between the studs, or directly on the stud. So you can really put it wherever you want. Um, so we'll get to that, of course. So the, the, the things that it comes with, naturally I showed you the box. Um, I want to take this apart and I'll show you what comes with the actual device. And of course, um, it does come with, and I'm glad they threw this in here, a suction cup and I was kind of wondering what this was for and now I know and basically this device pops out of the wall and sometimes because it's new it, it, it doesn't really pop out very well so this allows you to suck stick this right on top of the iPad and just give it a little tug so I keep it right behind my picture frame here where it's very easy for me to remove it from the wall okay we'll show you how that works of course it does come with a polishing cloth as well which you know I don't really care about but it's nice that they give you that say once you're done you can polish it off uh, but I have a lot of the microfiber ones laying around anyway so, without further ado, let's dis discuss what tools you're going to need. One, you're going to need a tape measure. Okay, common sense, right? You're going to need a screwdriver, Phillips set. You're going to need a, I don't have it here, I put it away, a sheetrock saw. And that's uh, just a, you can get them, you know, uh, you can get them from Harbor Freight, Home Depot, wherever. It's just basically a, a uh, just a, it's just a little saw with a sharp point on the end and basically allows you to punch that right through the sheetrock. Uh, you can spot drill it if you want. I didn't really have to. I just basically put that right on the sheetrock and just give it a little whack and it goes right to the sheetrock and you can start sawing. Um, it also comes with a template which is very, very handy because it gives you, you basically just put that on the wall where you want it, you trace it, and that's going to be your, your cutout, okay? Um, so let's talk a little bit about the device itself. In my situation, Adjacent on this wall here, on the inside of this wall, or the opposite side, is a closet. And so the alarm system for the house actually has, um, uh, um, they put a, a plug inside that, that closet, which you don't really see a lot, um, but because the keypad uh, naturally was here, uh, and I opted for a better alarm system, of course, which is in a different spot, but I still have the uh, outlet on the inside of the closet. So it made it really, really easy for me basically just punch a hole right in the wall once you cut out the, uh, the sheetrock you have your hole. Then on the back of the closet, I basically just punched a hole in there, ran the line right through the wall for the charger, and plugged it in. Um, so let's go ahead and take this off the wall, and I'll show you what it looks like. So really, really simple here, and I know that, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. I'm not sure if this device will let me zoom in. Zoom is not supported, naturally. So let me just go ahead and show you here. We'll bring you along. There's another close-up of what it looks like, and then, of course, you have the smart thermostat right alongside it. Um, I have it set right now on um, my Zomato camera system. So the only thing I had to do with, with, the, with the device is once I mounted the uh, tablet in the wall, I took it out of the wall and flipped the, um, the trim plate around because, for whatever reason or other, uh, the Zomato app, once you have it wall-mounted, it will stay in landscape or portrait mode. And it'll flip to landscape, but it'll only flip one way to landscape. There's no way to change it. So I flipped it around so that would always be uh, right side up, of course, okay? Um, so let me just go ahead and show you how we take this out. Normally, the manufacturer says you press right here. And if you press right there, it's supposed to pop out, but this is pretty snug. You might actually possibly, uh, maybe you'd sand that a little bit. But for me, I'd rather a tight fit. And all I'm going to do is basically pop this right on here and... I'm going, to show, I'm going to put you down for a second because I don't want to drop this like I did the other day. Basically, we're just going to put the suction cup on the device. Just give it a little push and pull. Whoop. Get it more towards the corner here. Just give it a little pop. Now, that definitely popped out a little harder than it has uh, previously. And I think probably as this, this device wears in, it'll probably get a little better. But it's not something I'm going to be removing all the time. But nonetheless... It is something that you might be able to sand down the inside edge, possibly, just to get that to uh, maybe not be so snug. But you, again, you want it to be a little snug. You don't want this thing popping out. And the whole idea for a wall mount is so you can, you know, you put it on the wall most of the time you're going to leave it there unless you want to take it around the house. 
I don't consider this to be a device that you'd want to constantly be removing this back and forth. It gives you the option to, uh, but you know, I just think that you know, if you're going to wall mount the tablet, you know, that's the whole point of why you're doing it. Um, you know, le leave it there most of the time. That's totally up to you. I'm sure as this thing breaks in a little bit, it'll be fine. And I think you know, because it is plastic and the heat is uh, on about 68 degrees. Uh, I'm sure there's a little bit of uh, expanding, contracting going on uh, based on the time of year and the temperature in the house. So that's, that is just something you have to deal with. Um, so there's the dock right here, and I'm going to get you a little closer. And so it's pretty straightforward. It's basically just a, uh, a plastic, you know, uh, I guess a case, basically. And then you have your charger right here. And I'm going to pop that out, and I'm going to go ahead and use that suction cup as well. Bear with me here, folks. And I'm just going to take it on out for you here. And basically it just bends a little bit and it just pops right out. It's made of really thin plastic. And you can see I have mine... <laughs> you can see I have mine upside down because I wanted the plug on this side. And basically that's all it is. It basically comes with this mounted iPad mini plug on this piece of really thin plastic that is designed to flex and bend. You have your wall mount here, which has your several sets of screws. Um, I did actually, I was able to actually put it directly over the stud and mount it. My, my holes lined up perfectly where I could screw it in there. But the clips they give you are, are sufficient enough to hold this in the wall. And basically what they are, and I'm not going to take it out of the wall. Maybe at a later date I will, but basically there's two clips that are clear plastic that are right behind. You can put them on any one of the screws. Okay, and basically all they do is they you screw the screw inside the hole and you get it inside the actual clip. It's just a long piece of plastic. And all it does is really once you tighten it, you just sandwich the sheetrock from above. It, it, they overhang the sheetrock. So about here and here. And you just basically work that up into the wall. And you basically uh, just screw it down. Now don't screw it down too tight because this is thin plastic. And this is not designed for you to really wrench on it. You could easily crack this. So don't do it with a drill. Do it with just a regular uh, screwdriver where you can actually feel what it feels like when you're tightening this. And you, you don't want to put any kind of stress on this. And I can actually see right now, when I'm looking at this, that one of these screws here just looks a little bit over tightened. So I'm just going to back that off just a little bit, just to, just so that the plastic doesn't bow. Because this is really thin here, and there's really no need to really wrench up on this, okay? And so basically it comes with a, I believe it's a five or six foot USB cable. And that just plugs right in. There's a plug right in the back of this, you can see, a USB. I don't know if you can see that. It plugs right in, and you basically just drop that line in the wall. Uh, snake it to wherever your outlet is. And you still have to use the uh, the manufacturer's charger. I'm going to pop this back in here. This is pretty straightforward too. I don't know if you can see that. But basically all you're going to do is just basically pop this into the, the slot here. And just give it a little bow. And it just snaps right into the wall. And that's it. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, now of course I'm going to go ahead and pop the tablet back in there. So you can see how that works. See if you can get it from this angle. I know it's kind of shitty. I wish I had a tripod or something, somebody filming me, but this is what we're working with, folks. So basically it just pops right in there with the power adapter. And you want to make sure you get it in snug enough where that actually takes a bite and it just slides right in. And so there you have it. Now the only thing I have to say about this is when I first popped the tablet in, it went dead because I had this open all night. And with the Zomato app, if you keep this app open, it'll just stay on. It doesn't go into screensaver mode most of the, most of the time. And so I actually ran my battery down, and that could actually hurt the iPad. So you don't want to do that, especially if you have an older iPad. Had a little bit of a tough time charging it back up. But make sure that you're naturally plugged in and that you're receiving a charge uh, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, so there you go. So now I have my camera system on there, and it functions just like a regular iPad on everything else. Um, now I've also loaded my smart homes, uh, my smart home uh, and my LifeX apps on this, so I can actually control the lights if I want to directly from here. Uh, which is a pretty nice feature. I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, and so any app that really works on the iOS is going to be on uh, on the device and wall mount. So it gives you a nice user interface uh, to be able to you know play music. Uh, because all my devices are Chromecast ready, I can actually just stream right from here rather than pull out my phone. I can say, hey, I want to listen to music. I can stream music directly from here to either of the Google Homes to the Google Chromecast or to the Google Music Cast. So it gives you a lot of control to be able to just do that. And what's nice about it, is that, you know, when I'm playing music around the house, sometimes, you know, other people are in the house and maybe they don't want to listen to it. I don't have to hand my phone over to them or any of that stuff. They can just go right over to the wall, press the song they want, whether that be Pandora or Spotify, whatever you want, uh, it'll work. So, uh, or whatever is iOS compatible. Um, and that's really about it. Now, the only thing is, if you don't have a situation 
for uh, for you to actually mount this uh, where you have a plug behind the wall, and you probably won't. What you could do is very easily do something kind of slick, and you could actually run the line down the wall and drill a hole next to your box if you had a box there, and you could actually. I mean, you could put in a separate box next to it where there's a lot of different boxes you get nowadays that are actually uh, sideways mounted in the wall, so you can plug into it from the side. So a lot of different options you have to look at as far as how you're going to get power to the device. Uh, for me, it was really easy. I just went right to the wall and plugged it in. And that might be a, a, you know, an issue with you if you're, like if I wanted to mount one in the kitchen, it'd be a little bit more of a, a task in order to get power to it in some areas. You know, for instance, if I was going to mount this device right here, okay, I don't know if you can see that. Right here, there's nowhere to plug in other than back here, and you're not gonna be able to snake that down because you have tile there. So that could be kind of an issue. And you don't want, you know, you don't want to have to punch out from underneath and then have the wire hanging outside the wall. That would look really ridiculous. Um, other uh, options, like I said, if like if this outlet, did, if this closet wasn't there, didn't have an outlet, I could drop the line down the wall, and then being there's a fireplace right in front of this. I could just pop out of the sheetrock with a hole and, and it wouldn't even really matter. Nobody's even going to see it. So it just depends on what you're comfortable doing and what you feel like doing as far as when you wire this thing up. Now, they do make another situ another option for this. It's a, uh, I, I forget the distance. I forget how far the cable will run, but it's a powered USB cable that you can get in the event that maybe you need to run a line into your attic and run a really long distance and still be able to provide USB powered device. That's an option too, and that's on their website. So I'll be doing uh, coming back to this device at a later date. I just wanted to bust in a real quick review. It's unfortunate that uh, my video got corrupted. I really wanted to show you me cutting out the sheetrock, but you know, don't let that scare you. It's really, really easy. All, and like I said, let me, I just want to show you here real quick. Um, really, really straightforward. This is the template they give you. It says I wall dock. You basically just mount that to put that where you think you want to put it. Your measure, you know, like I basically measured from the outside corners. Down the center of the wall, I pretty much eyeball it. You could measure. I mean, it's pretty much straightforward. Put that on the wall. I traced it with a pen, and then I began cutting. And it just—it's really straightforward and easy. So uh, anybody can do it. And you just want to be careful when you are cutting. Make sure you don't go too deep. There are wires inside of a wall, and this is always something if you don't feel comfortable, don't have the expertise. Um, to go ahead and have a professional do it. I always do recommend that anytime you're going to do anything inside your home that involves going inside the wall, turn off your breaker or turn off an outlet. Um, you know, turn off the breaker to the outlets where you know that might be. But really, you don't really know what a person's done when they uh, con constructed a house as far as where the wires are, what's feeding what. So just be safe. I would recommend turning off your entire home breaker so your house is completely dead uh, once you start cutting into anything or working on electrical stuff. Just a little disclaimer there. You know, make sure you're safe. Uh, that's about it, guys. I really hope you liked the video. I really hope you liked the product. Um, so I want to get another, another close-up here just so you can see again what it looks like. looks really sweet, wall-mounted right next to a uh, Honeywell T5 thermostat. If you didn't see my review on that, definitely check that out. Um, as you can see, also got the Zomato cameras on there. Uh, check out my video on Zomato cameras. I think they really are the best value and the best setup uh, for, for surveillance, uh, you know, for, for security cameras. I mean, you can get a, um, a uh, what was it, like a... Uh, an 8-channel NVR, which, allow you, which is what I got at the 8-channel NVR, which allows you to actually um, plug in a computer monitor to the device and a HDMI cable, and it'll feed both those at the same time, so you can see it on your TV or whatnot. And then this, with the cloud, it basically uploads that information or that video feed right to the cloud through your network, and you can view it right from home. So naturally, I have more than four cameras, so if I want to flip between those, I can. I can zoom right in on one. I can record, take a snapshot right from here. So... Uh, it's really, really, really is a cool, cool setup, and I mean, it looks awesome wall mounted. Uh, naturally, I mean, it's just uh, fantastic. If somebody rings the doorbell, I can run them in the kitchen. I can run right over here and take a quick peek. So, um, yeah, I mean, guys, I wall doc. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys make a great product. I have to say, I looked for a long time for uh, for uh, wall mounts for tablets, and a lot of them don't look nice. A lot of them are really, really overpriced. Now, the price in this, let me just get to that. I am going to be having a coupon code in the description, so stay tuned for that if you want to make a purchase. Don't do it yet. Look for that coupon code where you can save a little bit of money uh, for any sale that comes directly from my video. Um, these can be had for $200. That gives you everything you need minus your power adapter, which you have to use that came with your iPad. Um, it's available for the iPad mini, uh, I believe the new mini, and the iPad 1, 2, and 3, which I have the iPad 1, and your full-size iPads, and I believe the Apple iPad Air. So definitely check out the links in the description. I'll put all those in there so you know exactly uh, what to get and where to get it from. 
I'll even put a link in the description for some of the tools. Uh, should you not have any tools and you might want to just buy those real quick, I'll put a link in the description as well. If you guys have any questions about this product whatsoever, do not hesitate to comment. Uh, like I said, this is one of the most affordable and um, uh, nicest looking in-wall mounts that I've ever seen to date. I mean, it's really nice that you can get it flush in there and not have to worry about the studs getting in the way, where a lot of them aren't like that. So I really hope this company comes out with something for I, you know, iPods, the iPod touches, because I would love to be able to warm out the few of my iPod touches that are just sitting around collecting dust. So uh, once again, guys, thank you very much. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click that bell uh, notifications on icon so you're updated anytime I upload a new video. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm here for you. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.